So you got a 3D object and you want to make it a random color every time you play. Perfect. So let's add a material to the mesh and then throw a script on top of it. So in the ready function, we're going to randomize just to make sure that it's random every time we play. Then we're going to get the surface material, the first one, that's what the zero's for. And then we're going to get that one's albedo color and set its color to all randefs. And then cool, we got a random color. But wait a second, what if I wanted to instance two of these things? They're both the same random color. It's because they're using the same material that you just made. So we're actually going to get rid of that material and spawn a new one using GDScript. So make a variable for the new material and set it to spatial material dot new. And then use that new variable to get the albedo color and then set that color to randefs. And then on the mesh instance, get its material override and set it to that new material. Don't forget to delete that original material that we made. There you go, you got a random color on each instance of the same object. However, it does take up more draw calls because you're creating a new material for each one. So keep that in mind. For my games, I haven't really had any problems, but you know, just something to think about. I'm sure there's other ways to do this that, that are probably better, but this is how I did it. So I hope it helped somebody, because it helped me. <laughs> anyway, toodles. <laughs>